Good morning, it's 4th of March 2024 and it is 6.01am. First thing first, I have to see what's on the calendar today. So we'll take a look at that there now. My calendar is absolutely critical in the running of the practice. I couldn't run the practice without a very well organised calendar and there are very strict rules in relation to the operation of the calendar as well and who goes into it and when and so on. I have a fixed number of consultations that I do a day and uh, we also use the calendar for recording phone calls received, Zoom meetings and uh, consultations whether they're by phone, face to face or by Zoom. So I have a Zoom consultation as it happens at 7 o'clock this morning so I have about uh, 45 or 50 minutes to get ready for that. Uh, that's the gentleman who is outside the country and who is considering buying property in Ireland or wants to buy property in Ireland. He wants a quick discussion about that, so that's no problem. Seven o'clock Zoom consultation. Then I have a consultation in person at nine, consultation in person at 10, and a consultation in person at 11. That's quite unusual that they'll all be in person, but as it happens, uh, apart from the seven o'clock Zoom consultation, those other three are in person. So that's what's on the agenda today. Then I have to do the usual, deal with emails, deal with uh, phone calls, although I have a particular way of dealing with phone calls. So I deal with emails and I deal with letters and correspondence and so on, and uh, whatever else might pop up. That's really it. Uh, so the very first thing that I do every day is I write a blog post for my blog, terrygorywrites.com. I write a blog post every day on that blog and I've done it for, I think it is over two years at this stage. And I've never missed a day, even though when I go on, even when I go on holidays and so on and so forth, there's all sorts of distractions, etc. There's all sorts of reasons it's not to keep the run going, but I've kept the run going and I've been doing it for I think over two years at this stage. So there you go. That's the very first thing I do. The next thing then I'll do is get ready for the Zoom, uh, although that'll be very straightforward. And uh, I need to check then the three consultations that I have and I want to see what their issues are. I insist that everybody that has a consultation here sends me a brief synopsis. That's a brief synopsis prior to the consultation so that I have an idea what it's about and so that I can be sure that I can help them. If I can't help them, I can't give them advice. And when I say help them, I'm talking about advising them and giving them clarity. That's the help that I'm referring to. Some people want solutions to problems, but sometimes there's no solutions to problems, quite frankly. But the important thing is I can deliver clarity, I give advice, and uh, in order to do that, though, I need to see what it is they want to discuss in the first instance. And if it's, for example, something that I don't do, for example, criminal law or something of that nature, well, then I'll just say, look, you've got the wrong man, you need to go somewhere else. Starting my Zoom consultation there now in a few minutes, it's five to seven. I have a Zoom consultation at 7 o'clock with some guy from outside the jurisdiction who wants to buy property in Ireland. I get quite a few of these and the great thing about Zoom and the great thing about my YouTube channel is I generate an awful lot of queries and ultimately clients from my YouTube channel and then being able to speak to people directly on Zoom is fantastic as well. So it's a huge change from years ago when you know there's no such thing as zoom and nobody had youtube channels and uh, it's a great source of um, clients especially valuable clients and when i say valuable clients i'm talking about people buying property and so on obviously we're looking at a decent enough professional fee a conveyancing fee for for the likes of that as opposed to for example just maybe doing a will for somebody which is 100 quid or 150 quid or whatever for husband and wife or perhaps just a straightforward employment law consultation or even a contract or something so property buying and selling it's um, a good source of income for solicitors and solicitors like it for that reason and one of the most important reasons why solicitors like it <coughs> excuse me is because the solicitor to a great extent uh, controls the money controls the money at each end of the transaction and that's the huge benefit. 
So if I'm selling for a client, I get the sales proceeds in here and then I can distribute or pay on the sales proceeds net after getting my fee. If I'm buying a property for a person, well then obviously they have to put me in funds in order to buy it. So again, I get my fee. And to be honest with you, without beating around the bush, that is one of the reasons I would say why solicitors really like conveyancing and property transactions because um, there's a beginning, a middle and an end to it and you get paid and you get paid because to a great extent you're in control of the money or at least you can uh, insist on getting paid so that's it anyway i'm going to do my zoom now time for coffee now head down to nomad i've got my nomad cup here we're saving the planet with our uh, environmentally friendly uh, cups refillable or recyclable or whatever here we go Got my coffee there in uh, Nomad down the street. It's just down the street. It used to be opposite, across the road from my old office, but now it's just down the street on the same side, so I don't have to cross the road, although I have a bit further to go. But um, I like supporting local businesses, and um, when that place started off there, Nomad, a year ago or two years ago, or whenever it was, I kind of uh, could see myself starting off way back when I was a young fella and uh, I could see myself in, in it and I just give them support. It's not a big job you now to buy a coffee and to give it, a, mention it on the likes of Instagram and that's what I do and uh, he mentions me then as well obviously on Instagram so there's mutual benefit I suppose for both of us. It's harmless enough but it is a way of promoting and some people do actually pay, play or place a great degree of uh, regard on supporting local businesses and so on which is fair enough but um, it's mutually beneficial I give him a sort of a plug as say when I buy the coffee I buy Americano and he gives me a plug as well so he mentions me obviously to his followers and I mention him to my followers and that way we both kind of grow our, our uh, reach and um, influence as it were locally etc certainly Three consultations I have this morning now are one is to do with employment, one is to do with a will, and uh, or a couple of wills actually, and the other one has to do with inheritance and succession and how property can be passed on and the tax implications and consequences and considerations and so on. So that's the three consultations. We have a few sales then as well, a few purchases or sales to try and push on as best we can. And obviously we'll have to get on to the bank about money, releasing loan funds and so on for the purchases. And we'll have to get on to other solicitors then about signing contracts and returning them and paying the deposits if they're going ahead with the purchase or not. So that is where we're at there at the moment. Um, so sort of a typical, I suppose it's a typical day to a certain extent, but in the legal game, um, there's always some curveball, there's always something unusual or out of left field that will come in, so that makes it interesting, I suppose, and keeps, keeps one's interest in it. Having the rest of my lunch there now. A couple of mandarins and after my sandwich, uh, my own sour bread dough sandwich, so a couple of mandarins as well. Listening to the RT news there, Apple making two billion, two billion a week. Imagine two billion a week they're making. 
to have been fined by the European Commission for something or other for uh, exploiting or uh, taking advantage of their uh, dominance in the uh, music streaming business or something, but to have been fined, fined one and a half billion or something. But it's Mickey Mouse money compared to compared to what they're actually earning. But anyway, busy enough morning, but um, this afternoon now should be clear enough and uh, it'll allow me to deal with emails and uh, take a more strategic look at other things that I might want to be doing. So, Taxation now is a big issue. Taxation is a big issue which I could exploit and I could uh, kind of specialise in. That's lunchtime now, my place. That's the main street in Enfield and that's Daly's across the way there. Daly's Farm. But uh, tax is something that gives people a huge amount of concern and issue and so on, especially when it comes to inheritance and passing on property and land and so on and looking after kids. So that's an area that's uh, very valuable and uh, would be easy enough to really add value if you knew your stuff in taxation terms. So that's something that I think I should be looking into more, especially given my background. I actually started off life as an accountant. So my background is in taxation and accountancy and so on and so forth. And then I went into business for myself and um, between you know, the jigs and the reels and over a long, tortuous or tortuous sort of a journey over many, many years and in different industries and different businesses. I'm now in the law game, but in fact I started out as an accountant and uh, doing taxation and so on. So that's something that I probably should have uh, a greater handle on than I have and um, it's something that I probably should take some time to look at and go into. So that's what I might have a look at as well. I might have a look at in the afternoon. And that's the good thing about being able to organise your affairs in such a way that you can manage your time well and you can manage your resources well and you can do a sufficient number of consultations and so on and give advice, etc., etc., and generate and continue to generate an income. But at the same time, you have sufficient time and space to actually consider strategically the direction of the business and the direction of the practice and perhaps delve into areas which could be useful, very valuable add-ons perhaps to the particular, uh, to the practice, for example, in taxation, that sort of thing. But again, it's something that you need a bit of confidence in. And that comes from taking the time, I suppose, to, you know, hit the tax books and so on and so forth. So.